In this tutorial, I will show you how to change options and announcements, as well as explain what those options mean. So if you click Announcements, you will arrive at the main page for Announcements, and you will see the default layout for the announcements. So let's click Options. First, you will see your display options, and you can change these around by clicking the different buttons. The default is the sortable table view, which you just saw. We can click sortable table view with the announcement body, and then click update. You will notice the changes and that the body is now present in the announcement list. Let's go back to options and we'll change to the other option, list view with announcement body. And here we can change the number of characters in the body that are shown up under the announcement. Click update and you'll see those changes. Let's go back to options and next is the RSS feed options. Remember you have to make your announcements public when you create them if you want them to show up in your RSS feed. Uh, your first option is your RSS alias with a 40 character maximum which is just the name for your feed and you will see your RSS URL listed here. Next are your display limits and the number of days in the past would be how far back to show your old announcements and the number of announcements would be how many to display. So if I put one here and knowing that I have two announcements, only one will show. Click Update, and those changes have been made. 